Welcome to another installment of my mini painting videos. This week I am doing the character 5 from the show Dark Matter. Um, I had had this show in my Netflix queue for a while and this past week I started watching it and blew through an entire season in a couple days. Uh, I love binge watching TV and this uh, was a fun one. Uh, the pilot kind of hooked me uh, because every character kind of became an every man kind of entry point character uh, not to give really anything away but the show begins with uh, six individuals waking up on a uh, waking up from hypersleep on a spaceship and none of them have any memory of who they are or who they're with um, so they start calling themselves the number in which they were awakened in order. Uh, so this uh, person was the fifth person to wake up, uh, and this is um, the actress um, Jodelle Furland, who I probably saw first in a Terry, Terry Gilliam movie, Tideland, um, where she played a little girl... Um, it's a Terry Gilliam movie. Very weird, kind of dark horror film. Hard to explain. But I also remember seeing her on in the movie Silent Hill, and she appeared on quite a few of my um, other uh, sci-fi shows that I was watching around that time. Uh, Stargate SG-1. Um, to be specific, I think I remember seeing her in an episode of that. She must have been 10, 11, 12. She also was the voice of the Little Sisters in the Bioshock video game series. And it's pretty clear that the Little Sisters were somewhat based upon her look. Um, she's been acting most of her life, which is very cool, and she does a good job. Um, and this um, painting, I just kind of wanted to showcase her character a little bit. She uh, kind of is good with gadgets, and this is her trying to remember something about who she is while she just mindlessly fiddles with some tech that was on the ship uh, and she's sitting kind of on a table in the uh, medical uh, room of the ship with the uh, like isolation room behind her uh, and she has blue green hair um, which is very cool um, and an unnatural look and she's the most colorful character on the ship um, with a lot of flower patterns and um, just cool color schemes so uh, for this painting I really wanted to kind of amp up the colors that she was wearing and mute the colors behind her so uh, for this piece specifically I actually barely used any color for the background and spent all of my time trying to get uh, the portrait to look right and uh, the colors and patterns on her uh, outfit uh, right. Um, she's a Canadian actor um, and works a lot in Vancouver. I believe Dark Matter was filmed in Vancouver. Uh, they, Vancouver makes a lot of cool sci-fi. All I gotta say is that I'm responsible for so many of my favorite sci-fi shows. Um, are filmed there, and even now, things like Flash um, and Green Arrow and all of the DC Universe TV shows are filmed in there, uh, out there, and uh, it's fun watching a show like this uh, in rapid succession because there are so many actors who move uh, from show to show to show uh, that are filmed in Vancouver, so it, you end up seeing a lot of the same people, um, so it's kind of fun to just watch it in a... Um, a very short time frame. Uh, here I am starting to add some background detail using my wide uh, warm gray markers just to give some sense of just invitingness, uh, invitingness some warm, a warm sense of the background. Um, but really there's nothing more colorful than a warm gray and a cool gray. I think I did some pale blue violets in the background uh, as well to kind of just hint at color without actually showing some color. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going in and I'm darkening and starting to get some of her pattern in her shirt um, and still trying to perfect that hair color because her hair um, 
goes from kind of this uh, bright blue green to almost a black and a, a neutral brown hair, which I think is her actual hair color. She has practically black hair in the movie Silent Hill and a lot of the other things that I've seen her in. Uh, so seeing her with a brightly colored hair, uh, just trying to get it to look right. Um, and I'm really trying to keep this background as simple as possible, just hinting at the detail and the structure of the things that she is on and around, not so much the um, textures and stuff, because I wanted the background to feel very cold and just uh, planes in space. Um, <laughs> planes in space. Spaceships. <laughs> a pun. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can see I'm adding a little bit of the blue-violet right now. Um, and slowly building up the values and details in the, the thingamajig she's fiddling with, uh, which it's never really clear, but it looks like to be a prop of a suitcase that's cut up with some uh, uh, sewing spools and some old USB sticks kind of sticking out of it under a piece of uh, plexiglass. Uh, just enough to make the sci-fi-esque uh, nature of the device um, seem technical and fancy without being too crazy, and I kind of left it implied in a lot of ways. I'm just going through and adding some darker details and some darker lines, uh, building up that value and trying to imply that there are some steps back in space uh, behind her. Uh, and now I'm going back in and doing some final details on her face, um, trying to get her um, likeness just right. Um, and I, I think this piece turned out pretty well and getting some, her boots done here uh, with some warm uh, blue violets and uh, building up that value slightly and um, finishing off these patterns um, on her pants and um, her shirt and the like. Uh, just trying to play up a flat plane with a pattern and then modeling it afterwards like her her legs here, I go back in with some very slight shadow just to build up some semblance of form, but I wanted the pattern to kind of play for itself. Um, I hope you enjoyed this mini painting. I'm um, sorry it took another day or so to get up to you. These video files are large, and sometimes it takes me a little bit longer. Thank you for your patience. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you had a suggestion for another mini painting, uh, please leave it in the comments below um, or leave it on my Discord server. Uh, thank you all for being Patreon backers uh, and tune in next week for another mini painting. Until then, have a good one everyone. Bye.